Hey, it's Niall Livesey here. Today we're gonna to be doing a quick detailing video. Uh, really as per request, a lot of people ask me what I do to clean the car. And uh, truthfully, it's been parked outside for a couple months, so it has been neglected a little bit. So we're gonna be going over a quick detailing for this car. Um, it's just gonna be a wash, and what I use is the Turtle Wax Max Power, and uh, we just mix it with water, and it really does the trick for me. It gets all the bug crap off and the bird poop and all the stuff that you don't want. So we use that. And uh, we really only have two buckets and three microfiber cloths. We'll go over all that. But uh, what we do is this bucket is for rinsing your cloths. And then we've put the soap. And I like to put really hot water into this one. It's only half full right now because the hot water that I use uh, isn't high pressure enough. And you want to have a high pressure rinse in order to mix that soap. So let's get the car wet and get it cleaned up. All right, so now that the car's got uh, some water on it, now we're gonna go and work. And because it's a hot day like this, you know, it's not really easy to do the whole car at once. So we do uh, sort of section by section. I do the hood in front and then wash it off so you don't have soap suds uh, kind of baking into the paint. So we go little by little just because we're kind of in the middle of the sun here, which is not normal. All right, so you see here we got some bugs. So I like to get right in there and get pretty thorough and wipe it all off. And then uh, it makes it a little bit better. <laughs> so as you can see, you know, we've really only been washing for about a minute and a half now, and it's already starting to dry. So that's why I like to do it in segments. So we get all the soap in one section ready, and then we move our buckets out of the way, and then we'll spray it off. And it might not be perfect. The first time we spray it off, after we've washed it, I find there's still sometimes some dirt, especially if you haven't washed it in a little while. So we're gonna spray it all off. I like to do a lighter spray, so I don't put the hose on full. Just kind of a light sprinkle almost as if it was raining on the car. And you can see, even though we don't use any wax, water does kind of beat off of it. Okay, so a few months ago, we were doing some stuff with Performance Mercedes, and I spent quite a bit of time with their professional detailers. And one thing that I learned is to use a squeegee to get a lot of the water off without having to use a chamois, uh, which really just wastes its potential. So you can get something from Chemical Guys on Amazon. It's just a hand brush, basically this part without the squeegee sponge. Um, but it's this, and it works well for me. Uh, I know that you might have some concerns about putting you know, a little rubber on your paint, but from, uh, from my experience, it doesn't harm the paint at all. So what you do is you just want to squeegee the water off and as you can see it goes and contours itself right around you know, any curves and bends in your paint so instead of having to you know take a chamois and do all this squeeze it all off and then you can do the sham while after and clean it up and really saves yourself having to wring that thing out 200 times every time you're washing the car Okay, so the next step before we start doing the rims and the windshield, uh, I usually like to take one of the cloths that I've been using to clean. I've wringed it out so it's still damp because what I find is you've got some soap suds left on the car, especially on a hot day. It's, I think, about 30 degrees. So it kind of ends up baking in before you're able to dry it off. So you take your chamois. You can start getting any of the, the water off. You see there's still some, some left on there. So I like to just take the cloth and then give it a wipe over and whoo. Aside from all the scratches, that looks pretty damn good. So you could just do that over the car and really anywhere that uh, you still see some soapy stuff that's been left over and dried from the sun. And you do that to the whole car. And uh, what I don't usually do is the windows because we're gonna be doing that separately in about a second. 
All right, so I always leave the rims for basically second last. We're gonna do the windows after, but uh, the rims you wanna use a fresh cloth. You certainly don't wanna do them first and then use that same cloth. You don't wanna be putting brake dust all over your paint. I like to, to do it last. What you're gonna do is take your cloth, put it into your water, and, uh, and you can use a microfiber towel or they sell uh, brushes that you can use, but I like the towel, gets it done, and I'm not gonna be doing like a super thorough clean. So you go over the rim and the edge of it and through all the spokes if you got them into the little wheel lug holes there, unless uh, yours are a little bit different, but you really wanna give it a good cleaning and really get in there. You know, I get a lot of brake dust. I have slightly cheaper brakes on the front here compared to the back, so they produce more dust, but you wanna get them all clean. And like I said, I do one at a time. So you're gonna get all the soap and clean all of this up first. And then once you're done this one, you're gonna spray it off and then work on to the next one and so forth, get all four of them done. And uh, like that looks quite a bit better. If you are cleaning specifically the E38, you'll uh, want to open the doors after cleaning it. Get a lot of water that pulls up and that's why you'll get rust out of the bottom there. I don't like using soap at all when it comes to washing the windows. I find that uh, it just leaves bubbles and scum and all that. So uh, I use two products. Invisible Glass is good. They make one that has Rain-X, so it's good for streak-free. Uh, and then I had this random container of glass cleaner in the house, and it works pretty well too. So what I do is I'll spray it actually onto the cloth, is what they recommend doing. And then you'll really just go and start cleaning that windshield and getting in all the bugs as best you can, getting underneath the wiper blades, getting any dirt, leaves, and things like that out of the way. And uh, just really going and getting what you can out of it. It's not gonna be perfect, and you know, it still leaves a little bit of a streak. I, I sometimes use paper towel is an option as well. I do know that some people will go one direction down with the cleaning solution, and then they'll take a microfiber cloth and go the opposite, you know, horizontal to wipe it all off. There's really, you know, several ways to be able to do it. This is the way that I find is the most effective and really gets all the bugs off and most of the, the crap that gets in your way when you're driving. And overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I do that to all the windows and the sunroof, and that's pretty much it. Well, there you have it. That's pretty much the entire process for how I get this car clean. Uh, obviously, if we wanted to go hardcore, we'd be getting some wax in there and going uh, all out. But uh, for what I really need to be able to get it done for the rest of the week, it's a simple wash, probably took about half an hour to get done. And uh, I think the car looks pretty good. There's still, uh, you know, obviously a lot of paint chips at the front of the car. That's something that obviously you're not going to be able to get out with soap and water. But overall, it certainly looks a lot better than it was before. And uh, I actually feel comfortable driving this car again. Because normally when it's full of dirt, I uh, am pretty embarrassed being seen with it. You want to make sure that, uh, especially a car like this, you know, it's a 7 Series, it's a BMW. All the other BMWs I see on the road, they're usually pretty clean. And uh, I really hate being the only guy who's got a dirty ass BMW. So that's about it uh, for our video today. As always, we appreciate your views, likes, and comments. If you have any questions about this video, don't hesitate to comment below. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. We uh, always like to hear from our viewers, and we always take the suggestions and comments to heart and act on them when we can. So thanks for watching. We'll see you again real soon.